Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to bring some content from your Unreal Marketplace purchases into Unreal Engine 5. Let's say hypothetically, you just picked up some assets from the Unreal Marketplace. So if you have your Epic Games launcher open and you scroll to your library section, scroll down to your vault, and you want to add something to your project. Now I have a simple project open up in the background for the sake of this tutorial, and let's say, just hypothetically, I wanted to bring in some Infinity Blade weapons because that's just what I chose to add to this project. So I'll navigate to wherever that is saved in my library vault and I will click on add to project. Now, very conveniently, the Epic Launcher will pop up a window showing you which projects are compatible with the assets that you want to add to your project. So we can navigate to the tutorial UE5 and be like, hey, I wanna add this to that project. So we can click on add to project and it will start downloading everything and we need to be like, okay, let's just let it download, wait and chill out for a bit. And after a couple minutes, you can go to your Unreal Engine client that you have open and you can see in your content browser that there's a new folder here. How convenient. It's all of the new assets that we just bought on the Unreal Marketplace and brought into Unreal Engine. So we can double click on that folder. We can see the weapons folder here. We can double click and navigate through, let's just say the blade. I want a sword. Sword, blade, black knight. We can find it. We can see all of the materials and assets assigned to this object. So we have our material, we have our textures, we have our skeletal mesh. We can just drag that in we can see very conveniently we can drag that in and you'll see in the lower right hand corner it was compiling shaders as in it was loading everything in the background but now we have our sword and it's in our scene we can do cool things with that now what if you have some assets that are not compatible with the current version of unreal engine that you were working with now you can't say i want an unreal engine 5 asset and bring it into unreal engine 4 that won't work but there is a workaround if you have something that won't budge so let's go to our epic games launcher and we can see that i have some other things let's hypothetically add this hack and slash effects now let's say that the project that i wanted to was not here so the unreal engine tutorial for this tutorial this one wasn't here i have a project in one of the folders on my computer that's called asset dump and this is basically where i will just send anything that is not compatible with the latest version of unreal that i'm working on if this window doesn't work so this is a little bit of a hack but let's just go to this asset dump folder and click add to project and it's going to take just a couple minutes to download and while that downloads i'm going to scroll up i'm going to go to my projects and i will right click and click on show in folder. Now on my Windows Explorer, we can see here that I have a content folder, very similar to the Unreal Engine 5 client where we have our content browser. This is basically where everything is saved. And hey, look, there's our hack and slash effects here. So now what we can do is we can take that, we can hit control C on our keyboard and copy it. Now we're gonna go to our tutorial folder. So we'll go to our My Projects and right click Show in Folder. And then we will go to the same content folder that we were here and we will Control V and paste that. And it'll take just a second to load. And now if we go back to our main content browser, we can see we have our hack and slash effects. Double click, go to VFX Niagara, just cause this is what I wanna see drag this in and we can see that we have the asset here now this is definitely a hack because some of the stuff might not work especially because it's unreal engine 4 versus unreal engine 5 now fortunately this effect worked just fine so i can just click and drag this in and in the lower right hand corner it's going to compile our shaders prepare our shaders now I realize bringing in a Niagara system, which is Unreal Engine's particle system was perhaps a bad example because it doesn't just automatically play. So after just a few moments of fussing around with it, I can go in, 
and select something. So let's say I chose one of the assets that I just brought in and I have this auto activate button. I can just turn it on and off and we can see that we have the asset that we just brought in. You could do this for all kinds of things from your library vault. You can bring in your environment, automotive materials, whatever you want. This workflow will work for pretty much anything that you're doing in Unreal Engine 5. So I hope this tip was helpful, useful. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, hit me up in the comment section for that as well. And I will leave you with one final tip, and that is to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight, and you'll make some. Goodbye. Bye.